Raise your hand if you would like to go on Mars. Now, do you still want to invest billions of dollars into the colonization and another planet? In fact, extending the human presence beyond the Earth has been at the center of animated debates between scientists around the world. Both private and public organizations, such as NASA, Boeing, and SpaceX, have made commitments on taking steps towards colonizing Mars. But how does your initial reaction of wanting to go to Mars without hesitation reflect your view on human lives? In fact, we value the continuation of our future humans over our present humans. Why go to Mars if we have all the natural resources needed on this Earth? Think about it. We are not too close to the sun, so we don't burn, and not too far, so we don't turn to ice. We have trees that clean up our pollution, store and purify water, cure our disease, and create the food that feeds us. A study found that there are three trillion trees on Earth, 422 per person, enough for everyone to survive. We have enough clean water for everyone. We just don't know how to distribute it. Look at the map. First world countries such as Canada and the US have too much water, while third world countries in Africa don't have enough. Don't you think it is crazy that first world countries are looking for another planet, while third world countries are only looking for water? I'll repeat, don't you think it is crazy that first world countries are looking for another planet, while third world countries are only looking for water. This earth is a gift, and the problem is us and only us. We are responsible for our action, and if we don't change, there is no point of going to Mars because history will only repeat itself there. We should take care of this world before trying to build another one elsewhere. Colonizing Mars also monopolizes many resources. An estimated 805 million people suffer from chronic hunger in the world. Take it like this. In this room of 100 people, 15 of you are starving to death. And your neighbors, instead of helping you, are investing money to save their children. Elon Musk said that sending 12 astronauts to Mars will only cost 10 billion per person. On the opposite, the UN estimates that ending world hunger will only cost 30 billion. Just a simple calculation like this. To save world hunger, it is the trip for three people on Mars. Plus, two weeks ago, four of the richest people in France gave one billion to rebuild the Notre Dame church. This shows that the wealthy of today care more about an inanimated object rather than actual human lives. And I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I'm just saying that we should be re really careful on where we invest it because I believe that saving human life should come before everything else. We should take care of this world and the people in it before anything else. I also thought about it and realized that this project was created by wealthy men for wealthy men. Only the wealthiest people will be able to go to Mars while leaving the less fortunate behind. Once again, we give more advantages to the rich. And I'm not complaining because I can say that I am financially stable. However, I believe that my life, because I am wealthy, doesn't matter more than someone else that, someone else that is less fortunate. Therefore, Mr. Musk, if you want to go to on Mars, it should be free and equal for everyone. Because why save my life instead of someone else's? Elon Musk defends himself by saying that this project ensures the preservation of human race. Or should I say, the preservation of wealthy humans. This project only shows that we care more about the rich of tomorrow, of tomorrow rather than the less fortunate of today. Even if this project of going to Mars makes certain people dream, it has far too many risks and requires too many resources. This generation is not ready yet. We should take care of our planet before anything else. I believe that changing our mindset is the first step towards saving our population, not changing planet. 
I'll repeat. I believe that changing our mindset is the first step towards saving a population, not changing planet. Wealthy people's lives matter more than the lives of the less fortunate. Money matters more than trees, and we put the rule of gold above the golden rule. The day we will all unite together to make this world better will be the day our healing process will truly start. You can join organizations such as the World Wildlife Fund or the Water Project to make this world a better place. It is not too late. We have 12 years to drastically change our mindset and habits to save our population. We do not need to change the planet. We just need to believe that every single one of us can, can change this world every single step at a time. And if after my talk, every single one of you makes a difference to make this world better, then my mission will be accomplished. I will end with a quote. Only when the last tree has died, the last river has been poisoned, and the last fish has been caught, will we realize that we cannot eat money. Thank you.